What up, peeps? KG Drifties in the building. I'm here to bring you guys some Apex Legend tips and strategies. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys five best ways on how to improve in Apex Legends. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Now, starting off with the very first tip, and that is the settings. And let me before I get a little bit in-depth with the settings, I want to let you guys know that this is all personal preference. You don't necessarily have to use the settings that I do use, but... If you want to, go for it. Like I said before, you usually put the settings on for what you feel is comfortable. You don't necessarily have to follow what I'm putting on, but this is just what works for me. But if you want to use it, go for it by any means. Now, starting off with the gameplay. Not really too much I want to go through with this category, but I do want to talk about the damage numbers. For many people who don't know what damage numbers are, basically those are the little numbers that when you're shooting the enemies that pop up on the screen. And as you can see, when you go to gameplay and go to damage numbers, the default settings for it is stacking. And basically what's stacking is it just throw all the numbers on the screen with all the shield and all that type of stuff it basically adds up on how much damage that you're dealing with the player personally i don't like using stacking just because it's a little bit difficult to understand when i have an enemy one shot so if you don't really like when if you don't like to have all the numbers popping up on the screen and when you know when the kills go all the way up and if you want to just have it as a separate estimate then i recommend putting it to floating floating makes it a whole lot easier reason why because it can get in depth on how much damage that you're doing towards the player now as you guys may know when any type of depending on what shield that they do use it do show a color and basically when it shows the color purple that means they, they either have a purple shield or they might have a gold shield and if it shows blue then they might be then, then they have a blue shield and if they show white then it shows the white shield now if you get them down to the uh, get them down all the way close enough it will show white to red and basically white to red represents low health or you're putting damage to their health when you get to when you get to that point when you're shooting them up that means you go for the kill and you go straight in and you take them out right away that means that you, you're putting a lot of damage towards the player so make sure you keep an eye on that like i said before floating is just makes it a whole lot easier it separates everything it separates what type of shield they have and it separates what type of damage that you're doing to them instead of just putting it all on the screen so make sure you keep an eye on that now starting off now going over to the controller now what i use for this this is more about the sensitivity and the sensitivity ADS. Now, for the sensitivity, I use the Fold 3. Reason why, it's pretty fast for me. A little bit slow, a little bit, but I like it. Like I said before, I don't like my screen when everything's just all over the place. But you don't really necessarily have to worry about sensitivity too much. I mean, if you want to move fast and move around with your screen, you can. But it won't really necessarily mess up with your aim just because that's when sensitivity ADS comes into handy. And for people who don't know what ADS is, ADS is basically the aim down your sight. It's the aim down your sight speed. So make sure you use that. For me, I use low too reason why because like i said before i play call of duty call of duty with call of duty low sensitivity low ads makes it a whole lot easier to make your shots more accurate makes it more easier to hit your shots it can be a little bit of pain in the pain in the ass just because if you're using the big scopes it kind of takes a little bit of time to you know look around and trying to get to you know get a good shot on the enemy player but like I said before, whatever works best for you, like I said, I like to use low just because it makes my shots a little bit more accurate and I win a lot more of my gunfights. So I recommend using that. I guarantee you, I recommend using that. It comes in handy a whole lot. Now, going over to tip number two, which is gunfights. And this come plays a big handy in sensitivity. Make sure when you're in gunfights, make sure you hit all of your shots. It's a little bit hard just because people in this game tend to sway a lot. They tend to strafe a lot. My bad. They tend to strafe. Strafing gets a little bit annoying. I don't know why they put it in uh, video games. I don't know why. Usually like who dash in Call of Duty or any other game. But strafing is a pain in the butt. And I'm telling you, you got to make sure you hit all of your shots. Because if you don't hit all your shots, you're not going to always win that gunfight. And that's when the ADS comes into play. When you have low ADS speed, you can easily take them out easily and hit all of your shots. Like I said before. Gunfights have to win them. It's a little bit difficult, like I said, sometimes. But if you shoot them up, up either in the chest area or the head area, it makes it a whole lot easier to win the gunfight. It deals high damage. Obviously, that's how every other shooter works. But make sure that you always try to shoot them in the chest or at the head above. That's the only way that you can win your gunfights a whole lot better and a whole lot frequently if you tend to aim at those type of parts of the body. So make sure you always aim at that. And like I said before, the ADS speed comes in handy when you're doing that. Now, going off with the third tip, and that is team strategy. Yes, team strategy, we all know. Apex Legends is a team-based game. You have to have communication in this game. And what I mean by that, you have to have... Each of your teams have to have a really good specialist that's going to contribute to the team, in my opinion. A lot of a lot of the times, some specialists are better than others, in my opinion. But you got to have a good setup in order to win these games. And like I said before, team strategy, 
team effort and also team communication is the best way to win in this game. You have to have that. You don't necessarily have to have it unless you're a lone wolf and you have a lot of good skill in this game. But I do recommend using that because, like I said before, team strategy and stuff, you tend to win a lot more games, and especially just because it is a team-based effort game and you have to work together in order to win. So make sure that you work together as a team, support each other. If you're if you're a lifeline, make sure you drop those care packages for your teammates so everybody can get good shield. Or like, like I said, if you're Wraith, you know, use her to call out a lot of enemies because, you know, she can see, she can sense when enemies are coming by. Just make, like I said before, just make sure that everyone is up to par and, you know, using communication. Because, like I said before, communication plays a very, very, very big part in Apex Legends. Now, going off with the fourth tip, and that is don't be greedy. Yes, it can be a little bit tempting when your body and the whole team, you know, you want to get the best loot that you could possibly get so you can win the game. But make sure that you don't tend to get so greedy into the game because, like I said, greedy is the number one downfall, especially in Battle Royale, because you're so focused on getting loot. You're not poked. You're not watching your back. You're not watching your surroundings, and you tend to get shot from the back, and then you can easily die that way. And, you know, sometimes in Apex Legends, it's unpredictable. Some of these guns be shredded out of nowhere, so they'll really body you fresh when you're trying to loot and try to get the best loot possible. So make sure when you're looting, make sure you loot. When you loot, make sure that everything is clear. Make sure no enemies in your path. Make sure your teammates is watching your back. Make sure you, you know, you keep aware of what's going on because, like I said, you don't want to loot a body, and then on top, and then when you're looting, you get shot from behind, and then you lose the game. You're going to be pissed off. So make sure you watch your surroundings and just make sure, you know, only loot when you need to loot. Only loot if you need ammo, loot when you need ammo, or loot when you need armor, and just be quick about it. It should take no longer than what? 10 seconds, in my opinion? Maybe less than that? Because like I said, it don't take that long to hurry up and pick up everything that you need to pick. So make sure that when you're looting bodies and you're doing what you're supposed to do, make sure it's quick and fast. Don't be greedy. Don't pick them up at the wrong time when you're in middle of gunfights. Don't be trying to, you know, scavenge around while, while your teammates are shooting. Help them out if you can. If y'all die or if one of you get body, just make sure... You know, you can get revived. Make sure your teammate can just body him. You can low health people. And then, like I said, once everybody is cleared out, then you can do for the loot. I need to work on it a little bit for myself because sometimes I tend to try to get the best thing possible and then jump into the gunfight. So, like I said before, don't try to, don't be like that. Don't be that guy, you know, that, that mess up everything. So, make sure, like I said before, loot after, loot after you get with the gunfight or just loot when you think everything is clear and just make it quick. Don't be too much into the bag. Now, going off with the last tip that I do have is watch your surroundings. That goes back with the don't be greedy. Watch your surroundings. Watching your surroundings is very, very important in Apex Legends. Such a fast-paced game. People are fucking fast as hell. They will they will literally destroy you from behind if you're not paying watching your surroundings. Everyone comes out of nowhere. You know, like I said, everyone is very, very quick and everybody is so fucking stealthy, especially when what depending on what uh, specialist that the person used. So make sure you always watch your surroundings. When you're running around, look around your screen. Make sure you watch your back. Check the corners. Watch, you know, always look behind you every like three, four seconds. You know, always stay aware of what's happening. Because like I said before, it's such a fast paced game. People will destroy you. Always be aware. Being aware is the key to everything in this game because everyone is fast as hit. They would body you from behind. And trust me, it happened to me. It's irritating as hell. And that's probably one of the shittiest ways to die, unlike getting killed by the storm. So like I said before, make sure you watch your surroundings because it is extremely, extremely important. But that's all the tips I have for you guys. That is the five tips that I have to improve in Apex Legends. If you have, if I missed out on any other tips, make sure you let me know. Comment below. Let me know because I will. I could do a part two for you guys. I'm still trying to understand a little bit of the game. I'm still getting better. It, it's such a fun. It's such a fun game. I'm going to be bringing you guys a lot more tips and strategies. So make sure you stay up to date with that. Can't wait. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. On top of that, subscribe if you haven't already. More great videos coming soon. I'm so excited to bring you guys a lot of more Apex videos. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.